What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Black Owl, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Black Owl. Today, I'm going to show you how to make some oven-baked barbecue chicken. So, buddy boy, what do you say we uh, <laughs> go get baked, shall we? Ooh, yeah, sounds like a good time. That's right, baby. Oven baked barbecue chicken, and you're saying to yourself, like, oh, is it really considered barbecue if you didn't do it outside on the barbecue grill? Well, it is because we still got that barbecue sauce for that barbecue flavor there. Bull Shannon. Now, let me not get ahead of myself. Let me show you how to do what we do. Now, first thing that you got to do, got to get you some of that yard bird, baby, that big strutting bimp. So, you want to get you some of that today? I just got these chicken leg quarters because they still got that big old bag and it's cheapy cheapy. I can get it like a 10 pound bag for five bucks. Shit, I ain't gonna beat that. And you know, I saw somebody on the internet say the other day, you haven't wanted chicken leg quarter barbecue, I don't want to come. Well, you know what? Stay your ass at home, Robin Leach. Now, I went ahead and got my legs, my quarters, and I'm gonna take them down and I'm gonna rub them down like a genie with that magic lamp. Now, my rub today, this is actually <laughs> pretty crazy. This is IFS uh, Honey and Brown Sugar Rub. And you know what's crazy is IFS, that's the company at my work that does like the heating and air conditioning. And the, I don't know, there's no barcode on this. I got this from my boss. I guess they just make their own rub. So we're going to try it out tonight. So pretty cool. Now, go ahead and rub them legs down like you at the beach there, uh, girl. So we're going to rub them things down. And now, once you get them rubbed, I want you to go ahead and get a uh, piece of foil and put it on like a cookie sheet or a cookie pan because that's where we're going to place our chicken. Now, me, myself, and I, I'm going to use my roaster today. So, I'm going to do a little bit of a uh, different method. It looks a little different, but it's the same idea. Boy, got something to put some foil on it and uh, put it in the thing there, boy. So, now, once you get your uh, thing on the thing, we'll put our chicken on foil, place it in there. I turn my oven on about 325 and I let it go for a few hours. Now, we're not going to put the sauce on there yet. We're not going to get do ahead of ourselves there with the sauce. Are we George Jones? I don't want to be riding no lawnmowers. Now, we are going to uh, wait, like I said, about an hour or so. I kind of check the internal temp with my meat thermometer. And then, once they looked about good to me, I went ahead and put some sauce on there, boy. Now, the sauce, you don't want them to uh, sit in the sauce very long because the sauce will burn and it'll be nasty. But you do want it to caramelize. So, I would wait until just about 15 or 20 minutes before the chicken is ready to be done and then dump your sauce on there and let it uh, swim around like Power Man 5000. <laughs> you know, man, you get the head and the tail and the whole damn thing. So, we're going to take the whole damn thing out once the sauce is done on it. And I think we're ready to have a uh, big old sight and a big old beautiful bite of these barbecue chickens tonight. You're saying, like, oh. Damn, that was fast, man. I think you could have took some time and actually gone up there and uh, done it on the smoker. Well, you know me, buddy. I can take the tits off. Let's have time for our side of the bike, huh? Come on. Y'all are cute. Get it, Get it. Come on. All right, baby, the time has come. The barbecue baked chicken is done. And I'm about to have that first bite for me. So, let's go ahead and do it. I'm ready to because you know barbecue, one of my absolute favorites, baby. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. oh, man. Fall off the bone is good. Hey, boy. Let me tell you something about that chicken. If you hadn't it came to me, showed me this recipe, showed me that we did it in the oven, you could have fooled me and told me we did this outside. Tastes like the old barbecue kickback outside with all the family and friends. Delicious, man, and easy too. And you know, I think the key is putting that rub on there, even though we're not going out to the grill. Kind of gives it that authentic flavor. And let me tell you something, IFS, <laughs> it's crazy because... I guess you're good at heating and cooling systems, and you're good at rub, too. That rub was pretty good. So, thank them for that, and I want to thank all of you for watching another episode of Cooking with Black Arrow. Make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, 
follow me on social media. You can also watch all my other cooking videos right here on my YouTube channel. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going back to Barbecue City, boy. And I'll see you when I return next time. So, doodle-doo.